Good morning and welcome to uh, this time together. Uh, we are in the middle of the Lent and I apologize for being late. I lost track of time this morning. You know, Lent started last Wednesday, which was Ash Wednesday. And it's a time to uh, symbolize the 40 days that Jesus was in the desert after he was baptized by John the Baptist. So for the next cu couple of Wednesdays, over the next Wednesdays through Easter, we will look at a different part of the journey of Jesus going to the cross, uh, which is Jerusalem. And today I want to talk about the beginning of the road to Jerusalem. Have you ever been in a place where you wanted to, you were excited about something and you weren't really sure how to really um, expect it to unfold in your life? Well, as Jesus began his journey towards the cross, one of the places that he stopped to talk was at Mary and Martha's house. Now I believe a little, we have a little bit of Mary and Martha in all of us. Martha is someone who is very organized. She's um, maybe hyper a little bit, very detail oriented. And then Mary is very contemplative. She's reflective, she's meditative. She's all those things that we all like to do in connection to spending more time with God, I'm sure. And so when Jesus calls up and says, hey, I'm coming to hang out with you all for a little bit of time, they freak out as I'm sure many of you would as well. I knew I would. And so in the process of getting everything ready, Martha does Martha. She gets the, the meal together. She gets the, um, the grocery list together. She gets all the food ready. And Mary is standing waiting for Jesus to show up at the door because she just wants to see him and listen to him. And as the story goes on, we find out in the scriptures that Martha gets upset with Mary because Mary's not helping her in the kitchen. She's not helping to fix the food, bring the dishes out. And Jesus says, you know what? It's okay. Because Mary chose what was the biggest part, which was to be a time of reflection and meditation with Jesus. Notice that Jesus did not scold Martha. He just said that Mary picked the better part. And I think it's the same with us. And that we get so busy, caught up in everything that's going on in our lives every day that we don't take time to grab onto that part of Mary in all of us. The part that slows us down. The part that says, you know what, I need to just breathe, sit, and be still with God. So as we go through this time of Lent together, that's my invitation to you to just sit and be still and listen to whatever God is saying to you through this journey of Lent with Jesus to the cross. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you later.